everyone, I'm Danielle Goss, and welcome to this edition of your Third Age Health Brief. Huffington Post writer Shelley Emling recently published an article about four bad habits that very well may be killing your sex life. Just because we age doesn't mean our sex life has to age too. Miss Emling states that finding a long-time couple who complains about too much hot sex is about as unusual as coming across an ice cube in the Sahara. For many, sex can grow a bit mundane after so many years with the same person. But all is not lost. You too can revitalize your sex life just by changing even a few of your everyday habits. Ken Solon, AARP dating expert states, if your sex life is on autopilot, that may mean you're not being fully present when you're making love with your partner. The same foreplay position and orgasms are boring after a while, he said. While it does require some amount of thought, it's helpful to try to make love at least a little differently each time. Change the floor play menu. Avoid monotony by making love in new positions. The words boring and sex don't ever belong in the same sentence. Now I can attest to everyday life often getting in the way of what used to be a hot and passionate love life. Having been married for 12 years and two kids later, I speak from experience. I've learned a few things that I would like to share with you. So, here are four daily habits that may put a damper on a flickering flame. Number one, an open bathroom door policy. Really? Your partner doesn't need to see you in the bathroom or even cutting your toenails no matter how close the two of you are. Leave a little mystery in the relationship and reap the rewards in the bedroom. Two, wearing too many clothes. I used to wear sweats all the time to bed. Bad idea. You wanna have more sex? Go to bed wearing the same kind of sexy lingerie you used to wear when you were dating. Or better yet, wear just your birthday suit and get ready to have some fun. Three, asking your partner if he or she would like to make love. Okay, first off, don't always refer to it as making love. Find a fun new name for it. Nookie, whoopee, roll in the hay, it doesn't really matter, just mix it up. Making love has too much pressure associated with it. Have fun and bring back the passion. Better yet, grab your partner in your arms, kiss him or her deeply, and without breaking away. And so whether or not to have sex isn't the question, but whether on the sofa, the bed, the chair, or the floor is the question. Four, paying attention to the TV, your phone, or your computer. Don't just silence your phone, leave it. And your computer in the kitchen. You don't need them. And don't go to bed with the news on. Nothing kills the mood faster than the latest tragedy in the Middle East. A few years back, researchers released a study showing that couples who have a TV in their bedroom have sex half as often as those who don't. Sounds about right to me. So here's the bottom line. Sex is meant to be fun, enjoyable, and exhausting in a good way. So, next time you feel things getting a bit too stale and comfy, grab your man or lady, show them just how fun a little nookie can be. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Third Age Health Brief. I'm Danielle Goss. Thanks for listening.